The reason are the things I feel have made the second module unique is uh, not just in terms of the facilitators, but also the quality of the materials they have had to, to give out. This second module for me um, has a lot of practicals. We had a very challenging experience. Challenging, I would say, because at first we thought we knew all and we thought we were ready until when the test came. 99.9% .9 of us fell for it. But for me, it's a big lesson. Because one, we were told the second module was going to be practical. Perhaps we didn't pay attention, but again, we learned the hard way, and it is about mediation. We had a problem to mediate, and it was so real, and everybody was challenged to bring his skill on board. So if you ask me what makes the second module unique, it is one, the facilitators, their style and the content. The community where I live and work in Kaduna has known a lot of violence over the years. And now that elections are around the corner, uh, people are already agitated, some are scared. So I am looking at two things on my hand. One is to either address the use of hard drug and hard substance by young people, which also makes them vulnerable and become willing tools in the hands of politicians, or uh, with the other one that is more practical is that I intend to gather between 50 to 100 uh, tricycle riders or cadre riders, that is, have some media engagement, have, have some uh, workshop or seminar with them, have a road walk, get religious leaders to talk to them. So these are the things on my mind. I'm trying to work them out. And when I go back, I get to the rudiments and then find the basic things that I think can really address the problem and begin to be proactive so that we don't wait until after the election then we'll have a crisis on our hands. So these are the areas I think the skills I've acquired and even those of the first module and every other thing we've been learning so far, these are the ways I think I will apply them.